So today we're going to talk about the Coros Apex Pro. Now you may not have heard of Coros, um, but they're a wearable brand that over the past year or so have started to become quite well noticed in the um, in the multi-sport and outdoor market. Um, and their most recent watch, the Apex Pro, is the upgraded version of their previous Apex, uh, which is a multi-sport watch used for hiking. Um, it has about 15 different sports preloaded onto it and uh, it also has navigation in it uh, and a few other nice features. So today we're going to be looking at uh, the Apex Pro and seeing if it's actually a competitor with some of the other ones out in the market today. Design wise, it's actually a really nice looking piece of kit. Um, it has this titanium alloy bezel, which looks really nice. Um, it's got a sapphire screen, so kind of protect it from scratches and things like that. The most interesting thing about the Apex Pro and, and the Apex is that it uses a dial instead of uh, multiple buttons. So the dial itself is looks pretty smooth, looks pretty nice. There's only three buttons on it, so you'll have your light, your kind of full control through the dial, and this is your back button. Um, it comes with a silicon strap. There's a range of different ones that you can get um, for, the, for this watch, uh, and they all come in different colors, which is actually pretty nice. Um, it's also, really light so in comparison to some of the watches out there like the Garmin Phoenix 6 um, things like that it's it's noticeably thinner looks a little bit smaller and when you wear it on the wrist it feels really light and comfortable so yeah overall pretty nice looking watch so the interface for the Apex Pro as we mentioned is uses a dial um, and it's actually a really nice and uh, intuitive format for using the watch. Um, you basically unlock it by scrolling a few times uh, and straight away you'll get into the kind of dashboard of the watch. So you'll see things like elevation, heart rate, uh, steps um, and uh, temperature. All you have to do on those is click on them and you can, you can see the readouts for that for the past well I don't know how far it goes back for quite a while um, if you click the button I'll take you through to the activities so you'll have a list of all the activities available in the watch um, all you have to do is press the crown and then it'll take you through to those and you get the option to start or modify some of the settings within it really simple um, really quick to get uh, uh, started if you're doing a race or something like that uh, and it's quite intuitive, so you can't really go wrong with it. There's no tapping around button that's trying to find things. Uh, the only other feature it has is a kind of top level menu, which has navigation settings, um, heart rate measurements, alarms, stopwatches, things like that. It's nice and easy to access. And then that top button just activates the light. Um, there's actually also a new feature on this one, which is touchscreen. Now the touchscreen doesn't work all the time, it will only um, be usable when you're within an activity and you want to scroll through the screens or when you're using the navigation uh, system and you want to kind of zoom in and out of the of the route that you, you've set. So all in all, really nice, um, quite creative uh, way to, to manage a multi-sport um, interface uh, and really easy to use. So once you kind of play around with it, you're pretty much you're ready to go. So in terms of sport tracking, we mentioned that there are preloaded uh, sports within the watch. Uh, there is no option to add more. So the ones that you get with it are like kind of standard ones, the running, trail running, uh, gym, um, and also triathlon. So you can do multi-sport triathlon tracking with it, uh, but you can't do some of the more niche activities and you can't actually add those. So things like paddle boarding or um, uh, snow sports you won't be able to add those to it so if that's what you're looking for those features won't exist in the watch other than that there's quite a lot in there um, and the way to use it is very simple so yeah pretty good for sports tracking and fairly easy to kind of set those up and, and, and use them. okay so the biggest feature of the Coros Apex Pro and the other Coros watches uh, which if you've ever heard of Coros, this is probably the thing that people will speak about. It's battery life. And it is frankly phenomenal in terms of how long this will last in all, all the different modes. So in normal use, so 
wearing it day to day, but also doing maybe the odd run, the odd gym session. Um, it will run for 30 days um, in uh, GPS mode, which is say you're trail running or doing an ultra marathon, it will run for 40 hours. So pretty much more than enough for any runner out there that's going to be doing stuff and hikers. So in ultra max mode, that will, which will kind of minimize some of the features, it will last for 100 hours. But even then, it's still, there's still a lot of features that are working within the watch. So in comparison to most of the other watches on the market, this is by far maybe even the best in terms of battery and functionality at the same time. Um, we've been using it for the past six weeks and we've probably charged it twice. And it's, in, we've used it for marathons, we've used it for loads of different races. And yeah, you really, really don't need to charge this watch very much. It's, it's, it's battery life is probably the most impressive feature you'll find. And if battery is what you're looking for, it's a great one to go for. Uh, so in terms of other features on the watch, there's not a great deal um, other than what we've spoken out already. They have just released uh, a new firmware update, uh, which they do quite a lot actually. Since we've had the watch, there have been three or four different firmware updates fixing things and adding in new features. And the most recent notable uh, firmware update included a thing called track mode. Uh, and track mode will allow you to go to a running track and it will lock on to the path that you're running on, on the track, um, which is, it, it's a pretty nice feature. We've, we've used it a couple of times and it works relatively well. Um, with, there's probably still some scope for it to be, be modified and, and, and um, be improved a bit, but it's a pretty nice feature and something that we've not seen on a lot of watches to this extent. So it's a, it's a, it's a nice little addition to, um, to what it's got within it. Another feature that's in the Coros Apex Pro is navigation. So that means that you'll be able to upload routes um, or just track the route that you're on at the moment. Um, and view that within the screen to see the kind of directions you're going in um, and help you hike and, and follow a route with your cycling or running. Um, now it doesn't actually have maps within it so it's not going to compete with something like the Phoenix or the Casio Pro Trek um, but it does help you follow a route in terms of directions and um, kind of not, not losing a path and things like that. Uh, there's a nice little tool within it which warns you if you're following a route and you're uh, diverting away from it it'll it'll pop up with a notification and say you're off you're off the course which is quite nice um, and you can also upload those routes to use for running um, or other kind of other sports that you, you you're doing um, it's relatively simple so all of the um, route uploads are done via the app and the apps the app's pretty nice it's um, fairly simple but it has kind of a nice a nice graphical way of, of showing the top level information that you want from heart rate to steps um, and uh, your sporting kind of activities that you've been doing. So we're a big fan of the app. Uh, it works really well. It's not that advanced. So if you're comparing it with something like Polo or Garmin, you're not gonna get the same level of information, but it's, it does the job. Um, and it's a really nice way to view data. Um, the app's also the point, the place where you actually upload those routes. So um, you'll have to download a route file or um, uh, build one yourself and then re-upload it via the app itself into the system, which will then pass it over to your phone. It's a little bit of a laborious process in comparison to using an actual web tool to do it, but it, it works fine. So there's no major issues with that. The Apex Pro is gonna set you back about 450 pounds, which um, is actually quite expensive for what you get. Coros previously with the um, with the Coros Apex, uh, that was that comes in at about 300 pounds, and at 300 pounds, the battery life, the features, the quality of the watch is an absolute bargain, and that's where Coros really fits in nicely because you get great a great watch at a really great price. 150 pounds more, the Coros Apex Pro, it's probably getting into the realms of competing with things like Garmin's Phoenix range and stuff like that. And it's probably just not gonna have the advanced features that you're expecting at that price. So if you're looking at a watch that has a great battery life, looks great, feels great, um, you probably wanna go for the Coros Apex as, a pro, as opposed to the Apex Pro because that 150 pounds 
you're not going to get a lot more. Um, just some design features, um, a bit more durability and a little bit more battery life. But other than that, um, yeah, it's a great watch, but possibly a little bit too expensive. <laughs>